Hi everyone, this is Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. Thanks for tuning in with me today. Um, thank you for your donations. Thank you for your kind comments. My previous reading was on climate change. It brought forward, the cards were, you know, insightful. It brought forward uh, that climate change is indeed man-made, uh, that we would be pretty much forced to the table with increasing uh, climate uh, disasters. We kind of knew both of those things, despite the denial, despite the, uh, the campaigns by the fossil fuel industry. And there was a, you know, that's all pretty, uh, pretty depressing, isn't it? Uh, but I did ask another question and uh, a few people, a um, uh, few people picked that up. I said, even though globally the earth is literally uh, teaching us a lesson and we are being forced to evolve in the way that we care for the earth um, as a result, I also asked what we did in our own literally backyards. Does that make a difference? And the answer was yes. And so uh, it, we kind of came out as be the change you want to see in the world. Now, um, thank you to the viewers, uh, the common comments uh, in the comments section pi that picked up on that question. And I just want to share just two of those comments with you to illustrate that point that in your own immediate environment you can make a difference and I know that because I do as I said I live on the edge I think I, I spoke about this I live on the edge of a floodplain and we've just had so many so many flooding events in Australia over the last two years and I continually do protective event, uh, protective measures around this house in one particular incident where it lapped at our front and back verandas, uh, it actually flowed around our house. Um, and uh, even though the people behind us flooded, we didn't. Um, anyway, that's just me. You know that I'm a believer. But back to these comments uh, from Dee. Uh, she says she moved off the coast 10 years ago to three acres that had been abused. She committed to rehabbing the soil by mulching oak leaves. The organic gardens are now so productive that I'm giving gallons of berries away. My health has improved. The capacity for the earth to regenerate is astounding. My yard is full of medicinal plants. Each one, teach one. Isn't that just beautiful as an example of what you can do in your own area? And another one from Charlotte. I live on the border in southern Arizona. We get 11.5 months of sunshine with the occasional no longer reliable summer monsoon. It's hot. Yesterday, my husband and I signed up to convert our home to solar. We did that a couple of years ago and we haven't looked back. It's been fantastic. Our energy bills went from like $3,000 a quarter down to about, you know, 800, anywhere between 800 and 1,000. And this is at a time when people just simply cannot afford to pay their electricity bills in Australia. There's been a market failure, which I spoke about. Anyway, back to Charlotte's comment. Comment. So we signed up to convert our home to solar. We no lo we no longer want fossil fuels to be part of our energy consumption. Every one of us needs to look for ways to be the conservationist the earth needs for our future and the futures of our children. It is not cheap. Those uh, that will want to exploit this conversion will and are making huge profits. The feds are giving 26% of the value of our solar conversion back to us, as did our Australian government. I'm not sure of the percentage. Um, giving 26% uh, back to us in dollar for dollar tax credits. By us, I mean you get the tax credit, but then you have to decide to use the funds to apply against what you finance for your solar energy system or use the money in some other way and pay the full amount financed over the term of the agreement. That was an, an eye opener. So there are comments uh, here that talk in the comments section. If you were a little bit depressed, uh, 
about really what we're seeing unfold with our own eyes, you only need to go through the comments section to read of landscapes that have been transformed after abuse uh, and ways to build into our systems better ways of harnessing power and energy uh, via solar system, solar panels, for example, and any, any other renewable type of resource. Um, I also want to point you to, there's a channel uh, on YouTube, an Irish woman, uh, again, purchased a couple of acres of abused land in Ireland and through permaculture has transformed it into literally a Garden of Eden. That, uh, that channel is called Bieltona Cottage. Um, it, it, it is done. Uh, it can be done. Um, so be the change you want to be. On that note, let's just, now that I've been talking about that, before I get into the po political tarot, let's just uh, reaffirm that. Um, can, the, can we, at the individual level, influence Mother Earth? Can we, at the individual level, influence Mother Earth? Yeah. You know, the gardens grow, don't they, where they grow, when they're tended, when they're cared for. So we have veiled, um, veiled, fog veiled. To me, that's like what is occurring with our uh, ozone layer. We have breach, okay, so breach coming up for air and a wake-up call, so that's out of the, the gate uh, so uh, quite quickly at the base of the pack was island solitude. You know, there's that saying, isn't it, that each person is an island unto themselves. Also, I just want to uh, point out that the first card that I drew in that climate change reading was Volcano. And look, I, I interpret it uh, metaphorically but sometimes it's literal uh, because there was a volcano the next day in Japan all right so what do we need to know can we at, at the individual level in our own environment care for the earth in the way that we want others to so we're not without power in this situation new moon and promise look at that there's a promise of a new day new moon and promise winter sol solstice reflection so what we do is a is a reflection in our environment we are part of this earth and therefore we're part of the changes and we have rainbow and blessings. Oh, I think that's pretty clear that in, uh, and here's the break, breach again, coming up for air. Um, whale. I think that's pretty clear that what we do do can have a an impact. Okay. I, look, I think it goes without saying. All right, on to the political tarot. Um, I want to look at, now I have been saying that Merrick Garland has been, uh, the Attorney General in the US has been investigating now Trump for quite some time. It was confirmed in various articles, media, that even as early as April, before the January 6th committee started their hearings, uh, he had been interviewing those around the DOJ had been interviewing those around uh, around Trump and particularly in regard to that fake electors scheme. Now we have learned that just recently that Mike Pence's chief of staff was called before Merrick Garland's uh, grand jury that he impaneled for January the sixth uh, and uh, to to talk with or give evidence before. So. Um, how close, I guess, is the question. How close is the DOJ, Garland's DOJ, getting to indicting Trump? X-45, as some refer to him. How close is Merrick Garland's DOJ getting? So, so I literally am seeing a spotlight and, and it's, it, it made my eyes sore. How silly is that? So there's a spotlight right now shining on Trump. 
who I understand was back in Washington recently. So he is falling in the polls, but we'll get to that later. Uh, how close is Garland to uh, indicting Trump? How close is Garland to indicting Trump? Hermit. Okay, so now this is the Virgo card. Um, my timeline suggested around uh, August, perhaps even September, you might see some movement toward that indictment. Um, but this is the Hermit card, and it is we wouldn't we don't know as as Garland said we, they don't conduct their uh, investigations in the public eye. So the Hermit card is also review, introspection and review that could be assessing the evidence right now. Uh, this is also isolation and we understand and we know that that Trump, even though he's got his hardcore base, is uh, the Republicans are splintering now and starting to move toward DeSantis, of all people, uh, and and really turning away from Trump, less than 50% support him. And that's just not enough to win an election, is it, uh, at all? Um, so I don't think he's ever, he's not going to be uh, running in 2024, I, I, I you know. But anyway, so we had the Nine of Cups. We've got Wish Fulfillment uh, crossing that. Hermit card, Wish Fulfillment, Jupiter Energy. Um, Jupiter in Pisces in energy. I think Jupiter's in Aries at the moment. Um, let's see what's at the foundation of the reading, the Page of Swords. Uh, the Page of Swords is uh, is really the... The spy in the camp. So I think right now they're they're talking perhaps with people who have flipped. He's already got Mark Meadows' uh, texts. He had them, I think, uh, back in April, uh, and he could well be talking to someone or those that want to come forward and give evidence in return for immunity. We know that's the way the DOJ run their prosecutions. They peel away. Uh, to get the evidence on the person, uh, in this case, would be Trump. Got the King of Cups in the past. That's my card for Biden. You know, <laughs> I'll say it again. Thank goodness that Biden won that uh, 2020 election. The King of Cups. This is also Garland's a Scorpio, I think, from memory. And this is around maturity and wisdom. If anyone is going to make a prosecution stick with the ex-president, it'll be him. So we have Mercury and Taurus. Interesting that the north node is conjunct Uranus and Mars at 18 degrees on the 31st of July to the 1st of August. I'm not sure that there will be movement there, but there will be something I think I'll do a reading, a separate reading on that. There will be something that will come out around that uh, timeline and, and the shadow beyond that, which is about two weeks after that conjunction occurs. That's really going to be really huge and something that we uh, we don't know and we weren't expecting, but more on that later. The five of coins in the sky, isolation, you know, locked out. This is this is to me are the energies uh, for Trump himself. He is increasingly being seen as a. He's increasingly becoming isolated, and of course we know that you know the big grift off the big lie, uh, and this person has a begging bowl there. Um, people want stability. They don't want instability. Uh, and, of course, Murdoch, who has, you know, ingrained in all Western media, uh, understands that uh, there has to be a sta stable society. Um, he, his New York Post, his Wall Street uh, Journal and even Fox News and that breakfast show with those three people, <laughs> talking heads, uh, are also... Uh, beefing up DeSantis um, and moving away from Trump and, of course, Trump's calling Murdoch out. King of Swords, back to Merrick Garland uh, in the immediate future. This is the investigator. It's also the prosecutor. 
This is the uh, the lawyer card. Uh, that's in the immediate future. How close is he getting to him? Getting to him. This is a prosecution here. Uh, in the immediate future. Now, here's our, uh, I guess, the book of secrets. The thing that we we don't know. It's like secrets being revealed. I think that, you know, he could even go first on that wire fraud charge. Um, I'm just getting a pull to that five of pentacles. Um, the grifting there off the back of the big lie and then no such fund existed. Um, the defense of America first or whatever that was, that it just didn't exist. So he was literally raising money on the back of, on the back of a lie and lying about where it was going. He also uh, transferred about a million dollars, I think, to Mark Meadows' supposed not-for-profit organisation. There's so much there. I think Garland might go with some of that first, the high priestess. Let's read that quote. That's why I use this deck. Uh, darkness into darkness, the key to all mystery. Darkness into darkness, the key to all mystery. It's his clandestine investigation that we don't know about uh, and literally he's been copying heat. When he was interviewed, uh, I think it's yet to be released, he was asked the question twice and he kept giving the same answer that no one was above the law. The second time he was asked it, he, he, his face hardened and uh, I thought, wow, he's... Um, it's his secrets that will be revealed. It's the investigation secrets that, that will be revealed. We've got the hanged man, so we've got suspension. I just get, this is Neptunian energy, the hanged man, people needing to look at things a different way. When I looked at the North Node conjunct, Mars conjunct Uranus, now Uranus, the planet of rebellion, Mars, you know, aggression can be aggression, North Node stability. Um it's really one of the the key roles of the January 6th committee is to get people to look at things a different way. The fact that the ex-Trump, -pre, ex ex-president, he's still Trump, <laughs> is dropping in the polls. Uh, this is actually working regardless of whatever rhetoric they're saying. I think what these cards are telling me that they already have something that they're sitting on. Um maybe waiting for new evidence, the three of coins in the hopes and fears. There's always around money when I look at these questions. This is Mars energy, Mars in Capricorn. Um, whenever I look at anything to do with Merrick Garland's investigation, I straight away see the money trail here. And the three of wands, Aries. Aries, uh, Sun in Aries, energy here. Um, and we're moving into the Sun in Leo. I think Chiron's still in Aries and Jupiter in Aries. Expansion, Three of Wands is the Yes card. He's getting very close. Um, Three of Wands is having done the work, just waiting for that ship to come in. So waiting on particular evidence the three of swords here is betrayal this could be and I said it before and I'll say it again I observed I Ivanka Trump at her mother's funeral now granted that's going to be a pretty sad uh, day for her given she lost her mum but a long time ago a long time ago maybe 2018 2019 I thought she might she might turn on her father and betray her father. Uh, is she the person that has flipped here? And we have here the, the star card, the North Star. This, this is Aquarius, Aquarius. Um, so we've got Saturn in Aquarius, keeping everybody uh, honest. And uh, really, this is about detail as well. So um, I will save the reading for, uh, I'm probably going to do it in the next couple of days, but we've got the chariot. There's a quickening happening. It's not far away. We have the Queen of Wands. I think it's Lisa Monaco, Monaco, Monaco. Uh, and we've got 
there's still this connection with uh, the Empress card, Russia, but I still feel this is about now also we have uh, Cancerian energy here. Um, I keep referring back to that chart, but Anyway, uh, because we've got Venus in Cancer in that North Node chart. Um, things are moving quickly at the DOJ. He's had Trump in his, this is for entertainment purposes only, he's had Trump in his sights for quite some time now. He's been working his way, as I've said all along, from the outer to the inner. I, there's, uh, I think, a female that has flipped. This could be uh, Trump's daughter. Everything is lined up. He's waiting on maybe one more piece of evidence. There's something something that he's waiting on. But secrets to be revealed, secrets to be revealed. Um, so the answer is yes, he's getting close to that. Uh, I think it is in the immediate future, not the distance, distant future. My timeline suggested a possibility of around August, give or take a month, um, immediate future can mean anything from you know I mean it's so hard you know spirit doesn't have a calendar does it I'm just going to say the immediate future looks like when he might move uh, to indict Trump he is waiting on one key bit of evidence now <sighs> Pence of course is is becoming more vocal uh, I do feel that Liz Cheney will also be a candidate for the president in 2024. Uh, DeSantis is the one that nobody really wants because he's like a clever, a clever Trump. Um, but he is the one that the Republicans, of course, are getting behind. Why is it that Republicans all look like people, not all, but the ones in politics all look like they're going to break the law. Um, okay. All right, let's... Uh, so they've headed toward DeSantis, you know, who's absolutely appalling, absolutely appalling. Let's see. Uh, will Ron DeSantis... Will Ron DeSantis be the uh, GOP candidate in 2024? Will Ron DeSantis be the GOP candidate in 2024? Um... I'm not so sure about that. Two of coins weighing up their options. And we've got the uh, four of swords. This, this would this is retreat, wounded in battle. This would, I'm not so sure that he will be. Um, the chariot card, uh, which was at the base of the pack, uh, emotions, things getting a wild, you know, wild ride, literally. The chariot, things moving very, very quickly. You may find that uh, the Republican Party might look for a conservative candidate, not a Trumpian candidate, by the time we reach 2024. The Ace of Wands, the plan... Uh, the plan in the past, but like there's a volcano there, fire energy. Um, let's see what's in the sky, the page of coins. Mm, a small uh, section. What What is he sitting on now? Um, would he have broader appeal to conservative Republicans? I don't know. You know, we've seen before they'll throw their, their weight behind someone who can uh, really take it to the limit. These aren't good cards, though. The two of swords. This is um, this is the moon in Libra energy, um, justice. So post justice, they have the Republican Party has a decision to make a big decision. The magician manifestation manipulation, uh, and we have the ten of swords, utter ruin and downfall. Things won't be the way that they seem now. I read a good quote that trying to uh, judge things on present day, present day uh, information, energies, it's just not going to work because we don't know what's going to happen in the future. But, hey, that's why you come to this channel. Palace of Swords are in the hopes and fears. This is like the truth times, the truth on steroids. The truth that emerges between now and 2024 won't do DeSantis any favours. We have the Ten of Cups, the voters. Now that's Mars in Pisces. And we have the Nine of Wands. Um, 
the moon in Sagittarius. So guardrails uh, being defeated. Um, you know, like this is, you know, the battle, weary after the battle. We've got the family card and then the weariness there. The, the Ten of Cups has always been my card for the voter and we have the Page of Wands. So a couple of pages are turning up here. It's possible. It's possible. We have the King of Swords and the uh, Wish Fulfillment, Jupiter Energy, and we have the Deceit and the Lie here. So it could be that by the time we get to 2024, those that supported the big lie are not going to be the main Republican candidate if they want to win an election. They may have to go with someone that has broader appeal than a Trumpian candidate. Um, okay, now one last... Uh, do I have time for this or will I do this in a separate reading? Um, always pays to check in on Zelensky. Um, he's increased his detail. That's the Ukrainian president. His security detail, uh, the Russians want him gone. They are losing the war. They are, even though it doesn't appear like it. And they're uh, trying to co uh, cultivate African nations, particularly the Congo. Uh, and I think that's really because they want soldiers. Um, I don't think that Africa has anything to, African nations have anything to offer Russians. We can see what the Chinese do in African nations to understand it's a one-way street. All right, so let's just have a look here. Uh, Zelensky, can we take a quick look, please? Is Zelensky okay? Volodymyr Zelensky is his... Is he safe, Vladimir Zelensky? So the Ten of Cups, his family. It could be that they're try, going to do try and get to his family, and we have the Ten of Swords. Um, whew, I mean, these aren't easy cards, are they? Um, we have the Palace of Swords here. This is an extra card. So, oh gosh. The Six of Wands, you know, this is, he is seen, Putin sees him as being victorious in over because his invasion didn't go the way he wanted it to. The Four of Cups, so three cups have been spilt, but he's got a cup remaining. Nine of Swords, there's a lot of anxiety. This is the period where he needs to be really careful. His family need to be really careful. The Hermit card, isolation. So he could really have, he and his family could literally, you know, curtail their movements uh, because they're aware of this threat. The truth, of course, I love this card, the Ace of Swords in this deck. This is what I saw. That's why I picked this deck up. I saw this in my mind's eye. The truth is that he, Zelensky and his family are having to go almost into isolation because of these threats um, at this time. King of Wands in the hopes and fears. This is That's my card for Zelensky, the bravery. We have the Queen of Swords here in the, in the outcome. Uh, yes, he is in danger, uh, but also, yes, he is safe. That was my question. Yes, he is safe. And why? Because they unearthed the plot to assassinate him and I think also his family. And uh, they've taken measures, planning. They've stabilised that threat. I'm getting a big draw to his wife as well. She's been travelling. And the Nine of Coins are uh, independence. Yeah, they are. He is safe. Uh, but he, his movement and the movements of his family are being restricted in light of these latest threats. We will find out about them. The Moon card. There could have even been an attempt the Sun card and New Starts. Um, so we could even find out about an attempt So, uh, because this is around secrets coming to the surface and being re revealed. And as a result of that, new planning for his and his family's safety has already been undertaken. It is a dangerous period for Zelensky at this time. The worse the invasion goes for Russia, 
the more dangerous it becomes for him because Putin gets desperate. Now, also, I just want to say that, yes, Putin has cut off 80% of the gas to Europe. Uh, he's only allowing about 20% to go through. I did say that in my last reading on the gas question. Also said the EU will come together in unity to, you know, really to plan for this contingency, and they have. They've come together. They've worked out who and where and what can use less, less gas supplies in order for the what whatever Putin's dribbling through uh, to get them through the winter. They're also looking at other sources of energy at this time. So there you have it. That's the reading for today. Uh, I'll be back in the next couple of days and we'll look at that astrology chart. I do want to mention I did. Anyway, uh, maybe I'll mention that in a couple of days. Uranus, I just want to say that Uranus energy is unpredictable. Uranus energy is something out of the blue. Uh, it is very quick change. Um, the North Node in Taurus talks about stability um, and Mars talks about aggression. So uh, it is an unsettling period that we're going to go into Um so anyway, we'll drill down on that in a little while. Um, just stay safe if you're flying, you know, if you're flying or whatever. If you can put your trip off um, for a couple of days, let this conjunction go out of the way. Just wherever you are, whatever you can do, uh, just be aware that this planetary um, planetary uh, conjunction is really, you know, really, really, really volatile. Having said that. We could get some really huge information uh, that we don't know around the January 6th DOJ investigation of the ex-president. Huge. Anyway, I'll be back again with another reading soon. Bye for now.